So if you're coaching agency leads, heads, you know, and you're saying, okay, the world's going digital, your, your citizens have moved well ahead, what would be some of the you know, points you'd want to make to those sort of agency heads when they think about this? Some of them are agencies that are you know, very undigital, some quite digital, but have you got some sort of common observations for those sort of people, CEOs, secretaries of departments, that sort of thing? So in a lot of the meetings that I've had, you know, um, around the world, you know, whether I'm in Tokyo or in London or uh, Washington or uh, in Canberra, um, one of the common themes that uh, I've observed is that uh, people are trying to um, boil the ocean. Mm -hmm. And so there's this kind of analysis paralysis um, mm -hmm. where there's somehow this view that there's a magic bullet out there. And the reality is you've got to be able to be very, very focused, pick a few areas that you want to go after, be ruthless when it comes to executing your initiatives, um, and make sure that you don't get caught up in the old kind of doctor no reasons for why things don't move forward, whether it's procurement or it's budget or you know, people are talking about uh, talent. Um, what I think it really is about is leadership. Um, and I have to tell you, um, in my meetings with Minister Turnbull, I've been inspired. Mm -hmm. You actually have a leader um, who not only deeply believes in this transformation, but has put together a dream team uh, that's going after this. And I would argue that any agency head or secretary needs to tap into that energy mm -hmm. and leverage uh, that momentum uh, so that you're actually racing to the top, so you're the first agency uh, that's moving towards this transformation rather than what is traditionally the default setting of government, which is to resist change. Right. And if I'm hearing what you're saying, pick off particular targets, say particular pain points that you, within your agency remit, if you're a regulator, it might be you've got a whole lot of people coming at you for applications. How do I manage that? Is that the point you make? Absolutely. I mean, mm. let's take um, mm. an example, right? Um, mm. If you're the Department of Social Services, mm -hmm. um, today, uh, if you want to interface with the Department of Social Services, you can go online, but you're forced to download um, a form that has 250 questions that you have to answer. Mm. And then you submit it, and uh, I believe you're told you shouldn't call for 30 days. There's no feedback loop that tells you they've received your form, mm. where they are in the process, um, and what's required um, as far as any information that's missing. So you create this horrific interaction with government. Right. That Just is a clear, very talking, simple problem to yeah, solve. Are we talking about the US Social Security Department? No, here. Here, yeah. okay. Yeah. okay. Yeah. You could see a um, whole host of uh, use cases um, where the government can take it to the next level and be much more predictive. So, for example, you know, uh, if you're driving and your license plate is expired and you get a ticket, instead of the answer being you're constantly being ticketed, what if you know, the government were to say, hey, you're ticketed, we can renew your license, um, and if there are issues as far as an inspection is concerned, here's your appointment that's been set up for you. Right. Right? And I think that's the model where mm. a lot of these agencies can really, really focus, pick one or two areas, mm. prove, mo pr prove success, and then build the momentum behind that. So even in the case of New South Wales, they didn't start with, you know, 400 transactions um, over a 24-hour period. Mm. It was very much discipline around starting with a few transactions and mm. every quarter building on that momentum, building on that success. Right. And I think most leaders forget who they work for, right? You get mm. too caught up in the yeah. bureaucracy mm. instead of uh, going out there and having town halls with your citizens, asking them which transactions would you like to see online? what would you like to, uh, 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 to have transformed as a customer? And they have the answers and there's a demand side there. And you could build a lot of positive momentum if you're an agency head, if you step out of your office, engage the community, bring them with you, build these solutions and then scale them rapidly. Right.